hello thank you for clicking on this video and tuning in today I have a video about what's new in my wardrobe in my wardrobe I have um, yeah I bought a few new things kind of got a little bit on the spendy side I just don't know how it happened I actually don't know how it happened I do know how it happened but I'm in denial so I might not have a video like this next month I might be like eking this out a bit so yeah yeah a little bit uh, spendy Anyway, we're looking at all that, we'll just go on, I'm going to show you what I've bought and I may try some things on and show you, but it's actually the hottest day in history, I've made that up, it's a very hot day, I think it's 35 degrees and I don't know how I'm not naked right now because it is, yeah, it's that hot, so I've got jeans to show you and I don't think I could actually get them on even if I tried, it'd just be like down here, but like wet. The sweat, wet with sweat, just yeah, it's not a good, it's not a good look. So, I may try some things on, other things I'm just gonna have to hold up and show you like that and show you pictures as well of me wearing them. So, first of all, I'm gonna start with what I've got on, which is not this, well, it is this, but the jewelry. I have this necklace here. Now, this is a rose quartz point, it looks like a clear quartz because it is a very light pink. Um, but it is pink. It has a sterling silver clasp at the top and a silver snake chain. And yeah, I just like this. I thought, I need this at the moment. I need a bit of rose quartz around my neck. So Ian actually bought this for me, which was a nice surprise. He just came home with it. So I was like, oh, that's lovely, lovely. Thanks for that. So that's what I'm wearing today. Now, this is a crystal, obviously. And you may or may not know I'm a crystal lover. I just love it. I'm a crystal lover. <laughs> and I've recently started an Instagram feed. It's called Feel Good Crystals. I know. I know. It's so, like, original. So, if you fancy having a look, I say I've started it. I've literally put two pictures on. But, you know, that's going to be my crystal empire, my business, my thing. Don't really... I don't live there. I don't know where I'm going with it, but it's something I really like. So, anyway, if you like that kind of thing... I'm, I'm doing this because I'm putting it on the screen somewhere. Feel good crystals, go check it out. Right, next thing is this watch here. I'm going to have to take it off so you can see better. Now, this was actually a gift. This was sent to me. And they contacted me. The company is Nordgreen. They contacted me and said, oh, we like your channel. I like what you do. I'd love to send you a watch. And I said, well, I don't, I don't really wear watches. In fact, I haven't worn a watch for years. But I had a look and I thought, oh, they're so sleek and elegant. I Yes, I think I'm going to give it a whirl and start wearing a watch again and honestly game changing I actually arrive on time to places now so I'm gonna have to do it upside down so it's obviously upside down but I'll take it off why don't I put it back on here we go so it's a mesh stainless steel strap it has the white face I just think it's really elegant and chic and it has interchangeable straps as well so they also sent me a white leather strap too but I haven't worn that one yet I've stuck to this one because I really like it. So I've really been enjoying wearing a watch and now that I'm wearing this all the time, I feel naked without it. What I like about this, the concept of a watch, like I know, what a crazy concept, wearing a watch. But it saves me pulling out my phone and checking the time on my phone because if I do that, it'll be like this. What's the time? Did you get my phone? Oh, it's quarter past two. Oh, I've got a message. Oh, okay. And then, oh, while well, I'm here, I just check Instagram. And then, oh, I just need to do this. And, oh, mm, mm, mm. And three hours later, I'm like, oh, the time. It's quarter past five. Oh, my God. So it saves me getting my phone out. Check my wrist. Saving time. Saving time by watching time. I'll put the details down below of this brand. It's Nord Green. Thank you so much for sending it to me. I'm very, very chuffed. I really, really like it. Um, and if you like like simple, kind of elegant watches, men and women, go and have a look on the link down below. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. I'm sorry if this goes see-through because I'm so hot. That's why I'm wearing a hairband and my hair up because I'm that hot. Right, let's move on to the clothes. I'm going to try and keep it quick because I'm hot. First of all, the pink check gingham blazer from Zara. I kept it, I kept it. If you wanna see my Zara haul, I'll link it down below. I kept it, I really like it. I wasn't sure about the length, but do you know what? I like the length. I like the sleeve length, I like the color, 
it's just it's a gorgeous one i love it it's a current zara top blazer i'm going to insert a picture of me wearing it because i don't want to sweat on it so yes i really like wearing it with the other pink bits that i've bought recently it's a good one for the cooler days in summer not like today going into autumn spring yeah i'd even wear it in winter i like it that much so i'm glad that i did keep this one Sticking with blazers, I don't know what happened, I don't know, but I just had a blazer day, a few days. I just, yeah, I wanted to get my blazer on. The main reason I'm going to blame someone for this is a lady called Emma Hill. Um, she has a YouTube channel, you probably already know this, but I just really like her style. She's just, it's really simple, really chic, kind of got a Parisian vibe about it, elegant. It's just simple pieces, really put together well, and I thought... I want to be that person, I don't want to be the person wearing a rainbow and thinking that I'm like Parisian chic type, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I want to just simplify and I think blazers are the way to go. I think blazers suit me and I just want to look like Emma Hill. So I picked up this blazer here, this is from River Island. Oh, I'm going to have to put this one on, it's black, you won't see the sweat through this nice it's a simple black blazer it's got turned up sleeves like it's already like sewn in so you, yeah you don't have to turn it up um so that makes it a good length it has the gold buttons here nice bit of gold detailing it's a nice length i have to go like that can you see i'm sure i'm gonna show you this another time i don't know if i've got a picture of it or not yeah i, I might yeah yeah yeah, it's a black blazer, it fits nice, so for it's a standard. It's standard, and I like it. Ooh, that was tricky to get off. Might have ripped my arm hair off there. Saves time on waxing. Next up is a H&M blazer that I got in the sale. This is really Emma Hill, she wears this kind of thing, so I'm like, ah, I'm gonna wear this with jeans, and look really chic. Can't worn it yet, because it's too bloody hot. I'm complaining about it being hot. But yes, this was in the sale, I just like the colour. It's grey with a little bit of red running through there. This was £18, reduced from 30 something, so I thought it was quite a good price. And it kind of ticks the box for this finish off blazer, if you know what I mean. This is a ruchy up one, like this, okay? I had to ruchy up this. But yeah, I think with a plain top and jeans, again, would look quite nice. The only thing is, when I was trying this on in the shop, um, I was with my mum and I was looking at him going, oh yeah, that's nice, that's nice. And this like elderly lady came up to me and just stood there staring like this at me, like for about 10 minutes. I was trying it on and I was like, um, you all right? And she's like, that, that's amazing. Had a Zimmer frame. Like, oh, I really like that. Do they have another one? I was like, oh. Now, she might just be a really funky elderly person, okay? But I think it was more the other way of I'm a bit more elderly. Mm. Oh well, it's here to stay. I've ripped the label off. I like it. I've got to go fast. Zara. I kept the pink Cheney shirt. It's lightweight. It's massive. It hides stuff. And yeah, it goes with my other pink thing. So this was a keeper. And it's a current Zara shirt. They have it in black as well. I was tempted by that. But I thought, no, no, no. Stick with the pink. Next is this M&S linen shirt. Yes, you need this. You don't think you do, but you do. It is so versatile. It has rolled up sleeves, or have I rolled it up? I can't remember. I think I might have rolled it. Yeah, I've rolled it up. It's a nice quality linen. It's not like too mega creasy. It's just a white linen shirt. And yeah, you think it might be a bit boring, but it's not. It's not when you add it all together in the outfit. That's the thing. This, this is what I do. I buy too many things like this that doesn't really go with much. I need to concentrate on things like this that I could piece together easier, make more outfits out of. So I thought, yes, this is a sound investment. Now they have a whole kind of linen range at the moment, white linen. So any type of linen white thing that you want, head there, I'm sure they'd have it. But yes, I like this. Yes, I like this. Zara, black dress. I kept the black dress, haven't worn it yet. Still got the label on, but I will wear it, I will. I just thought the shape's really nice. It has the slits on the sleeves, slits on the sleeves like this with a tie. It's kind of meshy and nice. Maggie! 
I feel comfortable in it. I feel nice in this. So I thought, yes, I need to keep this. Controversially, I sent back the black jumpsuit. That fitted me really well. But I've decided my new theory on clothes are this, right. Do I have a reason to buy it? Like, do I have an event for it or whatever? A wedding, blah, blah, blah. If I do and it fits and I like it, I can buy it. Okay. If I don't, would I wear it on a school run? If it's a yes, I can buy it. If it's a no, no, no. So I didn't have a reason for the jumpsuit and I wouldn't wear it on a school run. Therefore, it had to go, unfortunately. And that's my new motto. So all of this, I either have reasons for it or I'd wear on a school run. Otherwise, it just gets left hanging here like the black and white dress that is on the floor. The Karen Millen one, that fits me delightfully and looks really nice, but I bought it without having a reason, like an event or something, and I wouldn't wear it on a school run because it's too dressy. So that's, that's pointless. See, I'm learning, I am learning. I've got two pairs of jeans, one from River Island, Two from River Island, yes. These are both from River Island, the same cut. One is cream, one is blue. It is a straight leg. It is, what is it called? I'll put it on the screen when I find it. But it has a wide, straight leg. It has three bits at the bottom. It's a nice colour. I also got the cream as well, which I haven't worn yet. But there we go, it's cream with brown stitching, which I thought was very different and very chic. I am chic. Now the reason I buy from River Island for jeans is that the leg length is always just right for me. So this is a short leg, I'm going to put all the details down below and I'm going to put a picture on of me wearing them because I, there's no chance of me getting these on today. Absolutely no chance. Naughty item. Should we do the naughty item? I told you it's bad, didn't I? Now, I was going to unbox it, but I've worn them. And then I thought, well, I'm going to put them in the box and pretend. But I thought, I just can't be asked. So I just thought I'd show you the bag instead. There's the bag. Look, it comes with like a fully metal star on the outside. That's like 20 quid for the bag. I know, I'm crazy. And I wouldn't normally put these in the dust bags, but yeah, I got two dust bags, one for each shoe, I know. So exciting. So let's have a look. The big reveal. I do one. So it's the Jadior. Jadior black slidey pump things. I don't know the actual name. I'll put it on the screen or down below when I remember. I've worn these. I'm desperately trying to get the cost per wear down, so I'm even sleeping in them. Um, but they're very comfortable. Now, if you are after these um, and you put them on in the store, or you order them and you put them on and you think, oh, they're a little bit loose. They're not. It's weird because it feels loose on the foot, but it's comfortable, it doesn't slide off. Um, so just bear that in mind. Oh, a little thread there. So let's let's just, yeah, just do that. So this is the material one with the rib effect on it. Then it has the white jadeur strap around the ankle and has a little bow here. These are just... I just love them. I just love them. And that's that. Yeah. I've been thinking about them. I was dreaming about them. And that, yeah, I just did it. I just did it. I wouldn't normally buy designer shoes. Well, not that many anyway. Because I think, well, I can't sell them. Well, I can, but like, I just think, I don't know. It doesn't seem right. Designer handbags you can always sell. Whereas I think, mm, I don't know, you just can't really get your money back on shoes. But do you know what? I was like, I'm wearing them, I'm going to wear them every day. I would wear these on the school run. I would wear these to an event. I'd walk the dog in these, okay? I'd walk both of the dogs with these on. Yeah, delightful. So that was naughty purchase, I was going to say of the month, but of forever. Another pair of shoes, because one wouldn't be enough. Black pair of S. Espadrilles here. These were from H and M. Again, a staple. These were quite um, reasonable on the old price. I can't remember how much they were, but yes, I didn't really have a summer wedge, so I needed a summer wedge. I just thought with jeans, the blazer. Again, going for the whole Emma Hill kind of look. She has these, not these, but wedges. And I thought, oh, 
I'm going to get some wedges and I'm going to copy. So that's what I'm doing. Last pair of shoes are these black and white sandals from M&S. They were in the sale. The funny thing is, is that they squeak when I walk. Yeah, it actually sounds like that. And it sort of sounds like I'm farting. Apart from that, they're great. <laughs> they're comfortable. They're like foam. So I can run after those kids fast. Yeah, I just thought they looked quite nice. And it's got the strap around here. This is elasticated. Wouldn't wear them today because it would be like cutting cheese. That's how hot it is. I have to wipe my leg, it's so hot. Mm. Anyway, they were in a sale. I can't remember how much they were. Last, but... No, not last. I'll save that one till last. <gasps> now, the reason I bought this is because I bought one from Primark that I took on holiday, like a black bag, this material, and the strap broke off. So I was like, <sighs> I have to buy another one. But instead, I went to H&M and I bought this. This is great because popper, magnet, big, empty, space big empty space big space so i can fit loads in there crossbody good to go like this pop black done goes with my espadrilles goes with everything savvy so yeah i can't remember the price 12.99 i think lastly this was ian's fault okay because he bought it for me i didn't ask for it he came home with it okay so it's not my fault now, on holiday, we were looking for a handbag and I wanted um, a tote because do you remember when mine was stolen last year and um, it was like a light tote and I did replace it with a black one but I needed a light one so we were looking for one but we didn't find one. So then he bought me this which isn't actually like the sort of thing I was after in terms of like a beachy summer bag but it sort of is because it was the colour and sort of shape that I wanted but anyway it was in the sale um, in House of Fraser so this is an Aspinall of London oh it was in the sale because it was an old season colour I think it was last year and then it was further reduced because it had a pen mark on it had like a biro mark on it and Ian being Ian he was like I want that I know exactly how to get that pen out give me the discount goodbye so that's exactly what he did he brought it home and I cannot see where the pen mark is so he did a good job there it's a lovely color it's like a I don't know, mocha? Mocha? I don't know. What? taupe yeah I think that's it taupe but it's a nice nude neutral shade it's saggy it's leather which has um what you call it like textured oh and another reason why is because in my Zara haul when I bought that bag that tan beachy bag and it was horrifically bent and creased and horrible when I sent it back um, that's another reason why he got me this because he's like oh bless you bless you for buying a bag that wasn't right oh what a shame so yeah anyway he got this so I think he did all right he bought me this and this so yeah thanks Ian love you do it again if you want. Yeah, so I really like this. Haven't um, this hasn't been out yet. So there's a couple of things that need their first outing. That's it for my what's new in my wardrobe video. I am due to have a mega clear out. So next month I'm not. I'm not going to say I'm having a spending ban, okay? Because I'm not that stupid to say that. But I'm going to rein it in a lot. Um, I'm going to go through everything I've got. I'm going to get rid of all the stuff that's old and that I never wear. I'm just gonna be savvy, saying it again like I always do, but I'm just gonna piece things together better and really, really think about what I'm buying. I can do it. I can do it, guys, I can do it. And then I'm gonna make a video on how I've done it, yeah? Right, I'm gonna sign off, because it's, um yeah. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.